Temperatures tonight, upper 30s across eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. As far as temperatures go tonight, I'm expecting these to drop into the lower 20s by morning and even colder air uh, uh, rebuilding to our northwest, moving our direction. Uh, so across northern Wisconsin and Minnesota, uh, that cold air mass is pushing our way. In fact, tomorrow it's going to be a struggle to get back above freezing as we go through the day. Uh, as far as Doppler radar goes, it is quiet tonight. I'm not expecting any rain or snow snow overnight, dry weather. Uh, the clouds have been breaking up nicely and that trend will continue right into tomorrow morning. Uh, cold temperatures though dropping in the mid to low 20s to start your Thursday and the biggest part of tomorrow looks dry. Temperatures just will be cold on through midday. Some sunshine around passing clouds. I want to point your attention to the top of the screen though. Uh, so far the lake effect event has been from west to northeast across Lake Erie heading up toward Buffalo. But as we go through the day tomorrow. Watch this band. It's going to try to drop southward through Geauga County on into Ashtabula County and Crawford counties, just clipping northern Trumbull and Mercer counties into tomorrow evening, uh, laying a dusting to a blanket of snow down. Uh, the rest of the area stays dry. Uh, that band will lift back to the north into Friday. And Friday is going to be a nice weather day, but it is going to be cold. Lots of sunshine around uh, through midday Friday. Temperatures only in the upper 20s here, uh, just sneaking toward 30 degrees into Friday afternoon afternoon, we continue to stay dry right into Friday night. Now this weekend will be the first of several disturbances that will push through here. These are those clipper type systems uh, moving through and they typically will lay uh, one to three inches down as they move on through and I think that's probably the best case scenario this weekend. Uh, that starts Saturday morning through the day Saturday into Saturday evening on and off snow showers. Want to show you a couple of computer models of total snowfall here uh, through Sunday evening. Uh, two to three inches a possibility according to this this model by Sunday night and then looking at another model here uh, again showing anywhere from one to three inches and I'm pretty much sure that I'm sure that's probably the best scenario here uh, for the weekend on the extreme side. If this should slow down and we get into more lake effect, uh, could see four to six inches uh, by Sunday evening, but the most likely, as I mentioned, one to three. So a blanket of snow down by the time we start early next week. And then more snow moves in 23 tonight. A few clouds, cold temperatures tomorrow, low 30s, partly sunny skies, a chance of snow showers through northern Trumbull and Mercer counties. Again, the heavier snow up into Ashtabula County. Uh, the weekend snow moves in uh, temperatures stay cold and then just get colder. Another disturbance, another clipper early next week uh, that could lay several more inches of snow down and we'll be adding it up through the middle of next week. Downright frigid with those snow showers. Highs in the low 20s Tuesday and not even making it out of the teens next Wednesday.